y'all, I'm Heather and welcome to my channel, The Debt Free Quilter. Today we are going to be working on our darting birds block. Bunch of half square triangles, a couple of squares. Turned out pretty cute. And it's really, really simple to sew. So, let's get started. Okay. And here's how we begin. We take our three squares that are going to remain whole and just lay them out in a diagonal row. <clears throat> Move the bag out of the way. Then what we need are three background squares and three focal point squares, which we're going to pair right sides together. If you're using a tone on tone fabric for your background, definitely make sure you're doing right sides together. If you wanted to fussy cut these uh, focal squares, that's awesome. <coughs> they can turn out really cute if we did that. Like, look at this one. This guy's going to turn out interesting. Well, I think we'll get most of him in one triangle, actually. Maybe not all of him, but most of him. If we fussy cut and do our lines right. Now, for this one, since they're so big and I'm only making six, I'm just going to use my ruler and draw my sew lines. And what I do is there's a quarter inch line right here, and I line that up from tip to tip, and I take my friction pin or other writing utensil. This is a sew line. It's going to be in the seam allowance. No one's going to see it. You can use pencil, you can use a ballpoint pen, it really doesn't matter. Or if you just wanted to draw a line down the center, you would line up your ruler just a little off the tip and draw down the center and then sew a quarter inch away. I cannot do that, it's not very good for, it, it doesn't work well for me. So this is what I do. So I'm going to mark all of these. I already have them paired up and nice. And I just draw my lines and then I'll sew down the lines. So there's those. So let's get these sewn and we'll move on to our next step. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm lining my sew line that I drew up with my needle and I just sew down that line. Now we're going to go cut them apart. So once again, I'm going to take my long ruler, line it up from tip to tip, but this time I cut it in half. We have sewn, separated, 
and trimmed our six half square triangles that we need for this block. Let's go press them after we safely close our rotary cutter. That's the pressing taken care of. Now, we get to lay out our blocks. Okay, I think I like how that looks. So, let's sew it together. So, one thing I want to point out these seams right here are going to match like this. There's going to be a bunch of bulk. If you want to press these open, go right ahead. I just decided not to for this block. So I'm going to be very careful and very slow and I'm going to sew from the opposite end where they're not as bulky. to put them together. We're going to nest our seams. You know what? I pressed this one wrong. Let's just go press them. But I'll be right back. Okay. What I ran over and did off camera was press these block, press these units in opposite directions. Okay? Press these two that way and this one that way. So as long as they're pressed in opposite directions, or if you want to follow the pressing instructions, pressing instructions in the pattern. Be my guest. Or if you just want to press them open, more power to you. Now what I'm going to do is sew the top and bottom rows to the middle row. Let's go ahead and go press this and see how it turned out. Okay, there we have it. Our darting birds block. In two sizes. The third one is coming. Um, all in all, this took me 
from start to finish, since I had everything prepped, about 20 minutes to sew, even with that extra trip to the ironing station. So this is quick. This is simple. It's half square triangles and squares. That's all it is. Straight lines. Anybody can do this. This one also half square triangles and squares. That's all they are. And they are super cute and I love how they're turning out. Um, so the time lapse video will be coming and we'll get that last one done and then we'll move on to our next block. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Have a great week. We'll catch you in the next video. Bye.